Rothbein. Thank you very much. It's a tremendous honour. We meet one of the giants of the game who made the 70s his own. When you talk of the great ruckman of the 70s, few could match the performances of Gary Dempsey. For sheer consistency and brilliance, he had no peers. From his debut as an 18-year-old in 1968, Dempsey made his mark out west. By 1970, he'd won the best and fairest. He was captain in 71, and in 1975 was overwhelming favourite to win the Brownlow. And he duly did. The 1975 Brownlow medal to Gary Dempsey. His efforts in the eyes of the umpires are reflected in his Brownlow record. No player in league history comes close to his 246 career votes. Dempsey was a high-leaping knock ruckman, but will always be remembered for his match-saving efforts, his marking in defence and his courage under fire. In 1978, he won his sixth Club Best and Fairest award, eclipsing the record set by Ware, Witten and Schultz. Over 207 games, the big bloke was simply magnificent. Tonight, Gary Dempsey is honoured by his club as he is inducted into the Bulldogs Hall of Fame. Gary, the, the story could well have ended the next year with those tragic bushfires at Lara. You were caught in the middle, you're in hospital for six weeks. And I think everyone in football, not only at Footscray, but everywhere, just wondered if a great career had been cut short prematurely. Well, it was, um, it was a bit frightening. And look, I, I think the thing that kept me going was that the same time I was burnt, there was a young girl got burnt. And to be honest with you, when they found her, they, they couldn't believe she was alive. And that one of the girls, one of the nurses, was an ex-schoolmate of mine, and she came in and talked to me about her. And, and you young blokes who are playing today, she had something special. She didn't live, but she survived far longer than anybody could imagine because you see she found that something extra and you young blokes who are playing for this club and you've done a great job you've got to realize that you've got to find the something extra that wins a premiership gary the as as craig as craig said in the introduction he said the, the 70s and 80s would be decades of despair in many ways, but um, your football club produced players like Quinlan, Round, yourself, Wilson, Templeton, and so on, men who went on and won the Brownlow medal. Not all of them stayed at the club, but they couldn't convert that into team success. No, I, 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 the worst thing about playing footy is the unfulfilled part of your life that you don't play in a premiership side. I mean, I know a number of guys who have played. One, one of my great friends was Lane Thompson. He played in a number of losing grand finals side, and I can tell you it really chewed him up. And look, there was a time at Footscray in the 70s when Bobby Rose was coach, Adrian Gallagher was playing with us, a, a premiership player. Uh, uh, he made the um, Carlton All-Star side. And he said to me many years later, we were a wasted talent. And look, you guys have done a great job, but don't believe it all in the you know, in a um, preliminary finals. You're going to make the best of it. Gary, just finally, it's great to have your family with us, Lenny and the kids, and uh, it's been a wonderful career. It's always fantastic to catch up with you. You're a great champ. Gary Dempsey. In this era, the club would boast two 